So let's go. Holy. Oh yeah, is the four foot Italian in the top thirty two? Um, I don't. I'm. I. I obviously I can't say who the actual four foot Italian is. Otherwise, Konami would get mad at me and ban me. So I can't say who it actually is. But Zakamore on DB is a short Italian. No. Okay. Definitely not who I thought it was. But okay, let me go ahead. Prediction. Who will win? We got Kevin. And we got uh, Giuseppe. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, shout out to Fyra Jackal for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Nice, now we got the top 32 now. Wait, we got Fire King in the top 32? Wait, was this a player on stream? I was playing Fire King? Is that how I recognized him? Okay. Uh, okay, activate Sleepy. Fire King versus Pearly. Is it going to be a nice battle? Hey, yo. So many Italians at this event. It's tragic. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's in Italy. But activates no shot they're reading sleepy there's just no way uh how are people still you're gonna how are you reading pretty how do how do you know your deck but you don't know pearly how do you know the fire king deck but you don't know the pearly deck that means you tested the fire king deck before you tested the Early deck. Ah. Okay, I also did see Sprite in their deck. So they are playing the Pearly Sprite strategy. Which I I you know, I actually do like mixing Pearly with stuff. Um I don't know I don't know if it's the Sprite one. Uh you know the ghost trick stuff does seem a little bit better, but I don't know. Maybe maybe this stuff just is the way to play it. Summon Beaver, Effect to Go Summon, and honestly, if you've been uh if you've been watching my channel recently, then you should know a lot of the interactions with this Pearly Sprite deck because I've posted it like ten times in the last like two weeks. I've posted it so much. Well, not actually ten times, but enough. Uh, how do you know thirteen rounds and not know Pearly? Surely he didn't dodge it, attorney. Nah, you actually very well could have dodged all turning. This is only like 8% in top cut. You could very easily play 11 different decks. Or 12 different decks going in the top cut. But they're going to go Gigantic in the blue, blue in the jet. One of the best interactions is you can uh, go jet in the double cross. And then double cross can attach. Said, is this the Cerberus YD dude? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I only know some of the DB players in real life names. Usually it's when I'm at YCS this is when I find out. Because people will be like, yo, I'm this dude on DB. And I'll be like, oh, okay. You're like an actual person. Pearly Discord Angler just hits different. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Pearly Discord Angler is crazy. But... All the sprite stuff in it too. The double cross. Ah, oh, the double cross is so good. Attaching the pearly so that way you can make your new war into a quick effect. If it was him, that'd be crazy. Honestly, it wouldn't even surprise me too much if it was them. There's not too many players that play this deck and play it well. And the player on DB does play it well. So, wouldn't surprise me if it was them. But yeah, activate, sleepy, chain noir to attach, go ahead and set yeep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have to read it. I love double cross, you can pull it off so many big brain plays with it. That's why I'm saying, well, that's why I immediately wondered. Finding out Sean Pittman is I'm Sean Pittman. Yeah, that one blew my mind. That one was crazy. Or when I met, uh, no, honestly, one of the most wild ones is when I met, uh, Ray's Thick Thighs. That one was wild. I was at a 3v3 tournament, and this dude's like, I'm Ray's Thick Thighs. And I was like, oh? I was like, I can't believe you'd admit to that. 
And then, now we're friends. E Pearly Noir makes me believe Masterpiece could come back. Nah, I don't... Nah, we should leave the old cards in the past. Okay, Sprint into Angler into Beaver. Who is that? Uh, well, I mean, it, you know, Ray, it's not, his name isn't even Ray Stick the Eyes anymore. He changed his name, like, over a year ago, because people just kept calling him weird. And he's like, it's just a meme, but nobody knows it. They all take it seriously. I don't know why people even took it seriously. Obviously, it was a meme, but, yeah, it was Chris Pike. But I kind of get reading the spells for the first effect, but reading the trap is insane. I'm not gonna lie, even reading the spells for the first effect in top 32 of the YCS is kind of crazy. Like, it's just crazy. Activate, chain, my gosh. They better have Book of Eclipse. They better have Book of Eclipse. Otherwise, that's draw six. Ayo, hey, draw six. My man dodged it all the way to top 32. That's insane. How does Fire King beat this? Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Because, I mean, we're going to have a huge new war. We have Sprint Bounds. We have Mannequin Cat into Follow Up. Then new War draw three. Potentially drawing Hand Traps too. I saw them draw Talons. Oh, they actually didn't draw any hand traps. And then I see Ash in the opponent's hand. The Avatar, Avatar. Another Avatar, Avatar. I don't know the card's actual name. I know it's like Avra, Avatar or something. But this just game, to be honest. Yeah, it's just game. They needed, like, book to stop it. Maybe one hand trap in hand. Nah, they didn't, they didn't draw any of them. They drew Imperm, but... It's not a hand trap. Uh, put Sleepy to two at least, please. I don't care if it messes up my plays off my friend. It's too good. I mean, I think Sleepy would be the next hit for Pearly. Sleepy's really good. Sleepy's really good. Okay, so now they're asking what their cards do. Okay, this one's a little bit more fair. This one's a little bit more fair. The Pearly having to read the Fire King cards. But it doesn't seem like they know what they do, so maybe they don't know the interactions with them. But even if you don't know the interactions with them, I mean, you'd have to mess up fairly bad. Fairly bad. Uh, what do you do, or what do you think if my friend got hit the wub? Uh, yeah, I mean, that would definitely hurt. It would definitely hurt, because then you just pop it and get rid of it forever. Uh, trust drawing two to six cards isn't that good. If Konami hits it, it hit the one knowing them. Nah, knowing knowing Konami, that hit it, it hit it down the two. They'd be like, all right, yeah, this card, uh, you know, this card has been a problem recently, so we're actually gonna hit it down the two, so that way you don't see it as often. Like that's why it never made sense when they hit like Skill Drain down the one for the first time. It's like. So you agree that the card is like a problem, and that it's really, really good. It's too good, arguably. So you decide to hit it down the one, so that way people are less prepared for it with their deck building. It's like, what? That doesn't make sense, just ban it. Me, amigo, reveal too sleepy, one delicious. Yeah. That's fine, though. That's fine. We need to keep an unsearchable draw two ban, but we totally allow people to make towers that draw six cards and includes two to three bounces. Yeah, whenever like Baby Noir goes through, it's so nice. Like even just like draw four. Like, oh, oh, just draw four. Like just draw four and then towers. Oh, they did the same thing with Macro back in Dino Rabbit days. Yeah, like that, that one was dumb. That one was dumb. Crazy how IO got banned before Skill Drain. Yeah, I agree. Skill Drain, I think, is still more stupid than IO. But IO is also a dumb card. I also can't believe that they banned IO, but then they kept Mystic Mine around. 
I thought they would have banned Mystic Mind when they banned IO. Because that was just like a side deck card that most people had that was like always adding it. Sleepy to two and delicious to two over time and future. Oh no, over time and future, it's gonna like be more hits to pearly, not less hits. I don't think they're gonna bring things back. I think I was more stupid, but both should be gone anyways. Yeah, I agree. Well, I agree with the both should be gone anyways. Mystic Mine era was wild. I don't know, IO could main deck with combo decks while skill drain not. I mean sure you could go like Griffin combo with it but that just like wasn't happening like ever besides like uh yeah i guess it would have happened in tier format maybe like when people went for eradicator maybe they would have went for that instead but i don't know skill drain's really dumb like skill drain's so hard to out because like you could you, you can't out it with engine most of the time where like io i can just go like normal my engine and like boop out it so low avatar pop red is sprite pearly a new thing uh it's not a new thing it got top at uh ycs dortmont it got top eight at ycs dortmont and then it's been played on db a bunch and high rated like uh Cyberus YD and top five's been playing it for like two weeks straight. I almost think uh Fenrir is putting so much so many floodgates in check at the moment, the card helps a lot. I don't know, like there's not that many people playing Fenrir. I'm not gonna lie. I mean some people play Fenrir, but I don't, I also don't think that card like you know, you wouldn't keep a floodgate in the game just because like oh there's Fenrir in people's decks. You know? Pearly Sprite has been there, just no one cared for it. Uh, the point of IO is good to build up a board, making it impossible to break. I mean, sure, but if you go first and you get the full combo, you probably win anyways. And then if you also drew a going first card, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's order, right? Can it just be judgment and you still win? Because that's all you need. I don't know. I think uh, I think Kenny YGO talked about it very well on his channel that it doesn't matter like if it is like a summon limit or a judgment because if you get the full combo in that situation, it's just game anyways. You you just win. It doesn't it doesn't matter which one it is. But yeah, that's why some people were cutting the anti spell and assigned to play the judgment. Because if you brick or draw horrible, at least, like, Judgment attempts to one for one. But I don't know. Judgment also takes the life points away. Ah, also, Anti-Spell messes with your plays. Like, Cash. Cash was tough with Anti-Spell. Because Anti-Spell was so good. Because you know that other Cash players would try to make you go first. And then you could Anti-Spell them. But then, if you bricked, which happens so often, then you cut yourself off from spells, and then you didn't want to flip anti-spell. Gosh, that deck hurt my brain. I'm actually... I might play Cash Tira at a regional next weekend. I might go back to it. Summon Unicorn. I sold my XYZ on Do you think I should set Book of Eclipse or Gamma Seal in its place? Uh, probably just Book of Eclipse. Yeah, probably just Book of Eclipse. Uh, Fenrir by itself kind of bodies some decks. Oh yeah, there's also times where like double hand trap Fenrir is just like the best thing ever. Play Ogre with prep and slaps. My friend was cooking with going second cash. Nah, I'm I'm going first cash. My my buddy uh, played my build yesterday at a three v three and he won 115 OTS packs. And he didn't lose a match. He went undefeated. So, hopefully, I can do that at the regional next weekend. The deck's solid. You just have to play really, really good. And people don't know what combos to go for or how to play it. Like, if you go for SP plus Shang, and then you can SP banish your Shang on their turn, and then you have follow-up, so it's like your guaranteed follow-up. Like, I don't know, guaranteed follow-up's nice. You're almost always guaranteed follow-up. 
You can also just like Dweller people or Babuska people. Once it gets later in the regional, it's so free too. Once it gets later in the regional, like round seven, round eight, round nine, like, oh my gosh, I know what everyone's on. Every single person. Joke's on you, but Vanquish Soul with Engine can beat Cashboard. Uh, joke's on you. Any deck can beat Cashboard. My board is not a real board. It's like a Fenrir and an SP. Or it's like a Babuska and a Fenrir. Or a Dweller and a Fenrir. My end boards are not real. <laughs> okay, noted my B. No, no, like, I'm, dude, I'll be serious. You could really break the board with any deck. Like, any deck can break the board. You have to, you have to play for follow-up. That's it. That's all you have in your cash deck. But you also do have, you know... Also, also, Tornado Dragon's crazy. Tornado Dragon's crazy, by the way. The solution for Labyrinth is Tornado Dragon. I was being serious about that. It's unironically on the deck list. And if I play cash next weekend, it's a very good chance that it'll be on my deck. It's also just for, like, random rogue decks, too, I guess. Because, you know, it is a regional... But mainly is there for the Labyrinth deck. Because Cash really just can't do anything about them. Do they play the big snake eye? Yeah, they definitely play the big eye snake. They definitely play the big snake eye package. No, they don't. Okay, okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Phoenix. Uh, sequencing of this Fire King player was not very good. Always start with Dive Elster to bait hand traps instead of the important core, which is Island. Uh, is Island the important card? If they have Dive Elster. I guess it is, yeah. Wait. <laughs> It probably is. Because you don't really need Bird to go through if you have Island. Okay, Passage, Roll, Imperm. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to lie. They're so dumb for that. They're so dumb for that. Especially playing against a player who doesn't know what your cards do. Like, I feel like if you play a deck like Fire King, or you play a random Rogue deck... You get used to people messing up against your deck, and you like, you learn how to play like that. Like when I played Marincess, oh my gosh, every single match my opponents were misplaying against me, and I got used to people misplaying so common in common spots, that like you learn people's misplays and like the, how the common person misplays. But you could also maybe just go for like Diabellister stuff, hope that they hand trap you, summon Phoenix, affect the surge. You know, be like, is this good? I don't know. Like, in real life, you can try to, like, bluff differently, too. Change your body language. Change your pitch of voice. They look in. I'm trying to see their extract, to be honest. All of mosquitoes in there, too. I'm trying to see how many of the pearly stuff's in there. To be fair, you can see the Fire King player shaking. He is nervous. Maybe he's shaking because he realized he messed up. Okay, overly and happy, and then they're going to read it. Okay, that's like... I guess that one's more fair, right? Because, like, it doesn't even have a pearly spell underneath of it, so maybe they're trying to read which extra effect it has. Read happy? No, that one's a fair enough read. Reading them when they don't have, like... When they're not made with pearlies, that one's, like, okay. That one's okay. Because people are just, like, used to them always having their extra effects. But now it's made with a beaver and an angler. If the pearly player locks himself to twos, Fire King has a chance. Rip, he's not bad. What if the guy started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like two months ago? I don't care. <laughs> What's the difference between if you started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like two months ago and ten years ago? Either way, like, you're still just playing a match. But they're going to go ahead pop. I'm judging on gameplay, not on this person. I don't, like, I don't even know who Kevin is. I'm just judging on the Fire King gameplay. But they're going to go ahead pop Phoenix, pop Happy. 
they, no, they don't get happy search, if that's what they're asking. I mean, yeah, worth an ask. Uh, no, Blue just wanted to look at the artwork, because he's a furry. Say, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Alright, yep, put that happiness back into the graveyard. Okay, so, let's see. Pearly used beaver, made happiness. Okay, they're going to hit them with the sacred Garunix now. So, I don't play them. <laughs> Do you want uh, small attack monsters and attack or defense against Pearly? Uh, I mean, defense? Yeah, defense. Because if they're an attack, then they could go delicious on you and game you. Or just casually beat over all four of them and doing damage. Uh, reading when you're not sure about a card is better than assuming an incorrect text. Yep, 100%. I never said that's wrong. Me, personally, I read cards. But... You know, reading a pearly sleepy memory in top 32 of a YCS, that one's crazy. Normal summon out, avatar. And then, okay, activate sanctuary. And then, island ash. I don't read cards because reading is for nerds, to be honest. Yeah, I actually don't know how to read. I, I only know half of the English letters. I don't know the other half. Why would you not special summon Grunix with the field spell turn one, I wonder? Uh, cause I think they were just, you know, they were trying to use the effect to pop and search, but then they got hit with Ash. We can tell. Wow. Nah, I'm actually an English teacher. I'm an English major. Uh, yeah, I teach, uh, Harvard classes in, at harvard in harvard understanding i understand reading pearly memories sometimes you forget what they protect my friends in top 32 right now i helped them oh i can't even read it one up helped them build his tier deck nice nice hopefully he makes it far don't need to read we know what to do based on the cards vibe alone yes there we go that's why I like to. That's why I like to read. Okay, they're asking for a translation on Kieran now. It's also kind of hard to even tell like the difference between the Garunix and the Kieran in real life. I'm I'm just not used to seeing cards rarities. I'm used to everything being common. So when there's rarities, sometimes it just makes it harder to see it. Do you need the Snake Eye Engine for Fire King? Uh, I've seen everybody playing it, so, yeah, I would assume so. Like, I feel like you just need it. And in the future, it's gonna get better, too. It's gonna get even more better. Oh, oh, also, I forgot I can put on the music, so we don't have the Master Duel background music now. Fire King with Snake is gonna be so broken when Populous comes out. For bigger events, probably yes. For smaller ones, you can play it with so many things. So, yeah, the Pearly player is not looking good for this game. They're just kind of like sitting back, watching, learning the cards, reading them, which is good. I mean, at least we're, you know, gaining something out of this. But also at the same time, you know, time is coming. Uh, they they definitely have a win con for time though, because they play uh, they play sprint, so they probably play scatter shot. Said what happened? Did he draw no pearly cards? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, all they did was normal summon beaver. Okay, so now, yeah, asking what the avatar does, and then yeah, the Kieran. Okay. So. What are they doing 
here. Are they attacking or are they just calculating? Because their Garunix also has the attack boost on it too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Kieran summon back. Effect. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, Grunix destroy Kieran. Kieran summon back. Effect to go search. Okay. Oh, they play two of that. Maybe they sided in another one. We definitely push for game. What's crazy is if Phoenix was level two, Fire Kings would have been kind of doo-doo even post. Uh, even with just how everything is only... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy, though, how Snake Eye made so many level one fires good. Like, Hydrant. Like, I helped that deck so much. Helped Infernoble. You can go for Jet Synchron. It's going to help this deck. Uh, pack gonna mess around and get a sold ban. I'm gonna be honest, it, it's gonna be kind of hard because Konami could have banned a sold like a very long time ago. Okay, yep, just go ahead, attack for game there. It has the boost on it. So now going on into game three, we're gonna get to see the pearly sprite deck go first. Uh, their deck is obviously very good at going first. I feel like any deck with sprite in it is like really good at going first, to be honest. Uh, Infernoid will pop off in 2024 with Snake Eyes. Oh yeah, my buddy is gonna play that. He bought all the cards German when we were in Dortmund. I sold needed to go a long time ago. I don't know how I sold managed to dodge the ban list a few years ago. Yeah, I don't know how. They banned, they were like, oh, this deck's broken? Uh, yeah, we're actually gonna ban Nightmare Goblin. And it's like, okay, I get it, that card's good, but like... That's not a sold. That's not the card that's broken. Where is the music coming from? Ah, uh, it's coming from YouTube. Honestly, Fire Level 1 is probably the best combination of attribute plus level and will be for a long time. Uh, Sprite just goes burr. Hey, shout out to Taylor Lepicon for the sub with the Prime. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Also, wait, is my stream lagging? Uh... No? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, okay, okay. False alarm, false alarm. I thought it was lagging for a second. Holy. Okay, I mean, Warrior Dex will die if she gets banned. Uh. Yeah? I mean, Warrior Dex that go for a soul. You could just not go for a soul and start building them differently. Or they could release different support for, like, specific archetypes pack and josh in top 16 rematch question mark oh not nah, rematch in the finals i hope they pull up the the bracket so we can see which side of the bracket everyone's on see how much friendly fire is gonna go now uh, same with mechanko can't go one without a soul uh do you think a soul gain limited would make it uh nah limiting a soul wouldn't do anything because, like, it's still just a soul. It's still there. But, I mean, if you get hit with, like, Moonlit Chill, I guess, then, like, it helps. I mean, I know the second a sold for follow-up is good. But, no, nah, I feel like the, the one a sold's fine. Oh, they're gonna ask them to double cut. Okay, I hate that. It's like, yep, final cut. Are you doing final cut again? Bruh. Nah, what? Why are you trying to cheat right now, bruh? Nah, I don't like that. Yeah, put the deck how it just was. Put it back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, put it back. Nah, no more cut. Done. My cut is no more cut. Like, come on now. Nah. Our people will be like, final cut? I give no cut. I'm not cutting your deck. All your bad, if, if you trying to stack me, all your bad cards can stay at the top. Bozo. Nah, I don't know if that person was actually trying to do it or not. But who, like, oh my gosh. Final Cut is already so toxic. But Final Cut twice? Nah. Bro, acting like he's marked cards, doing that for weird stuff. Like, I feel like Final Cut is okay when, like... I don't know, like the top of your deck sort of like falls off a little bit and you know, you're like, oh, hold on. You shuffle and you're like, okay, here you go. And then they cut. That's not even like final cut though. That's just like the cut. 
I don't know, what's final cut? So when you cut your opponent's deck and you get your deck back, like they just got done cutting it, you can be like, okay, final cut, you cut again. And then they cut the deck again. But then he asked for final cut again. <laughs> Asking for final cut is already like, you know, people don't usually do it. It's like whatever, sure, it's like a little bit weird. But then asking for it twice is like, who, who, like, nobody does that. But they asked the my friend Pearly. I see Pearl Lily and Starter in hand, so. Oh, but there's no Pearly spells. Okay, that kind of sucks. Not having any Pearly spells again. My opponent hit me with the bottom five on top. Don't know if it's even illegal or not. Yeah, it is. Uh, any, any cut's legal. Any of those type of cuts are legal. Activate starter. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the best cut is no cut. That's sometimes sometimes that's how it is. Okay, starter goes summon. Bring out red. Can you pick five specific cards from the deck and put them on top? Uh maybe? I don't know. I've I've never done that. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> and if my opponents ever did that, that's when I would do final cut. Special carrot, special blue, blue effect. Uh, you can cut the top five cards of your opponent's deck. Yep. Okay, so I'm blue, and then blue goes search. Oh, I saw the ulti blue in the deck too. Go search jet. Okay, I mean, this is already starting to become like a, a pretty good end board, right? We have red, we have carrot. That's already two interruptions. Go search double cross. That's already three interruptions. Go in the sprint, dump, uh, angler, beavers, into something. It's like four interruptions. Imagine playing pearly and just ending on a spray only board. Uh, well, I mean, they did get hand trapped on their pearly stuff. So I think it's fair, but they're gonna go ahead, bring out double beaver and then their mannequin cat it's gonna be weird against this deck. Cause I know against like tier, they play the end of the Anubis. Well, I don't know if they played on their list, but IP and the SP is also a good board to be honest. Yeah, set one pass. Okay, let's see. Uh uh no IP. Oh no, they they play IP. I sold in their extra deck. I wasn't saying it's bad, just playing against it's super funny. Uh, mannequin and summon Sprite Carrot, I guess. Yeah, they already have Carrot on the field. I guess, okay, if they go Imperm on Carrot, I guess now it could come up because we could eventually go Sprite Red Tribute Carrot and then Mannequin Cat summon back out Carrot. Uh, where do I find the top 32 lists? Uh, they're not posted. You have to just check YouTube and check websites and stuff. Or spreadsheets that have them. Book plus evenly one time. Don't say that. Don't say that. Or imperm evenly. Oh god, no. Okay, imperm carrot. Hopefully it's not battle phase. Uh, it, it kind of feels like they're saying battle phase though, with how it's kind of just stopped here, and it looks like Giuseppe's thinking super hard. They're gonna flip double cross now. Oh, okay. So, double cross to summon. I don't even think we knew what we were going to summon with double cross before we... Huh? Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm not going to lie. I really... I, I thought they targeted Ash with that. I was like... 
There is no way we just double crossed our opponent's Ash Blossom and Sprint Bounce with the hand. I thought they. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, I, I thought they pointed at it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick. But okay, now they're just gonna go activate Island. Then Island effects. I mean, they've had Ash, Imperm, Evenly. And then they're gonna destroy Kieran. Yeah, Kieran from Hand Go Search. Uh, that'd be the ultimate BM. Yeah, giving your opponent Ash Blossom back to hand before winning. Then. Probably just search out. Uh, I want to say it's just sacred. But if you go sacred Garunix. Okay, they're going through their extra deck now. Okay, they're specifically going to the rank 8s in their extra deck. Yeah, so it looks like they're probably going to go for Garunix if they're looking at that. Uh, still has cat effect to special summon here too. Yeah, the cat can bring out a few different things. Yeah, they search the Garunix. Um... Also, depending on, like, what they go into in their extra deck, maybe we could go for something different also. Like, if they go into a dark monster, maybe we bring out Per Lily, and then Per Lily can search. Uh, Garunix, Pop, Avatar, Summon Kieran. That's almost game. Oh, no, we're in main phase two. I'm gonna summon Pop, Mannequin Cat. And then... Okay, so yeah, Kieran summoned that, I said, yeah, it's main phase two. Okay, so Kieran summoned Grunix, our Kieran effect will go ahead, pop the mannequin cat, so that's gonna, that's not gonna be there anymore. They have Sprite Red in hand, we're gonna dump Barong, one of the OGs. that haven't read that fire king effect to be honest yeah it's like yama but it can destroy any card on the field imagine if yama could do that okay so prosperity go banish it was a really really solid hand though yeah definitely banish six you don't use enough of your extra deck to ever not banish six Ash, Imperm, Evenly, Island, Prosperity. Gotcha, didn't know if it was simultaneous or not. Yeah, that's rough. They banished Cowboy. Okay, I guess they are up in life. I guess they are up in life. And Cowboy is also not like the easiest card to get to. Yu-Gi-Oh moment. If Fire King player loses... The deck is trash confirmed. Yeah, the sprite player has, or sprite pearly player has just red. That's the only known thing. Okay, also, most of the time, uh, it, you should not be doing what this player is doing here. If you activate prosperity, you shouldn't start putting stuff to the bottom and be like, okay, n now these are my choices. Don't do that because now you're telling your opponent what you're picking, which can help them determine what's in your hand. If anything, yeah, I don't know. Like, you could, you could, I guess you could bluff by doing that, but technically you're not even supposed to do that. And I don't think they were bluffing with it. They're gonna go ahead, search Skyburn, set the Skyburn, and then just pass turn, and then yeah, the standby phase. Yeah, so there's asking how it's gonna work. Drawing the Ash Blossom, so they have Pearl Lily and Red in hand. So, wrong effect. Then, I mean. Yeah, looking at their hand, they, yeah, they drew Ash, so go ahead and Ash it. And then now we have Per Lily that we can normal summon. Uh, they just lose, though. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually, they just lose. They get banned for bluffing. Uh, I mean, you're not allowed to bluff. Yeah, you're not allowed to bluff like that. And also, to be fair, you're also resolving the card wrong. If you activate Prosperity and you look at 6, and then you put 2 to the bottom and look at 4, that's not what the card says. It says put the other ones to the bottom. 
but this is just game because per Lily's gonna grab my friend my friend's gonna get popped well okay as long as this player has a brain my friend gets popped as long as they have a brain I really hope they don't have a brain because I want Giuseppe to win this Sky Crisis won't come up. They didn't summon from the extra deck. Animal won't come up. They didn't play into it. Activate my friend Pearly. Pay 500. Ah, that's game. Uh, that's just game. Yup. Pop the field. Pass turn. It's just game. Add back the bird. They have island plus bird. Do they have a pop? Is it a quick spill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The set is the the Fire King Skyburn. They added it off the uh, Phoenix last turn that they grabbed off Prosperity. I see now he is in top 32. Yeah, about to be top 16 for sure. They play multiple Skyburn too. Or at least they did last game. I don't know if they... Wow, they actually keep... Multiple Skyburn in all the time. Okay, okay. Yeah, that just, like, guarantees game. Because, like, they can't even play next turn. Uh, technically, if you have no response, you cannot say thing. Yup. Technically, yup. Fire King still might be bad. Imperm Ash evenly won the duel. Yeah, I mean, their engine didn't do a whole lot. I mean, realistically, the only thing their engine did was pop my friend Pearly. That's all they needed. Or they could have just had, like, a single imperm, like, through engine. If you could do that, any deck could really set that up. To be fair, siding evenly in this meta is crazy. Yeah, evenly is so bad. It's so bad. Uh, Mains is playing too wild. You still can, just not in a feature. Uh, to Die Bolster Engine. Then Toggle is the ultimate bluff and master duel. Okay, so there's Calculated here. Because they destroyed from deck, they got the boost, they got the Barong on the field. Now they're gonna go Kieran, destroy, special. And then they're only at 58, so battle phase game. Yup, they were drawing pretty memory for turn, but yeah, they needed pretty memory draw last turn. And they needed something better. That's tough. Okay.